Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Matt and this is Kraken Packs MTG. Today we have another Double Masters booster box battle. And we're going to see if we can pull some beef out of this box. These things have been ridiculously good or have a, have a good track record of actually producing some really nice cards, especially that last one we did. If you look a week or so back, that box was absolutely ridiculous. We did one in the group the other day. It wasn't so great, but I'd say nine out of 10 of these usually, uh, usually work out. Hopefully I didn't just curse this box by saying that. Um, fingers crossed. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave me a comment. That gets you in on giveaways. We're about a third of the way to 11,000 subscribers. When we get there, I'll give away another booster box. Also, there's a couple affiliate links in the description for Magnolia Gaming. If you need some magic cards for yourself. Also, a few from Amazon if you have no other options. But always, support your LGS. So the way this works, we have six participants. They get four packs apiece. We open the packs and whoever has the highest and the lowest mana value gets a prize. The high mana value gets the topper. The low mana value, I'm gonna give a Strix Collector Booster to. And we will open those as soon as we're done. And all results are unofficial until I recount. So, but for the video, um, it is what it is. And let's get started here. I pre-randomized these positions. So number one will be Ryan. Number two will be Brad. Three will be Dr. Chewy. Four is John B. Five is Jason. And six is Dan. Last but not least, in the caboose. Pack number one. Good luck to everybody. Welcome back, Ryan. This is, uh, he's participated with me a few times. We appreciate your patronage. Expedition map, good common. Treasure mage and large. Our first hit is a Death Shadow. This was a modern staple for the longest time. And a Maze of Ith. Two, two pretty nice cards there. Doesn't add a ton of beef to your mana total, but two nice cards nonetheless. I'm going to write down a one for that pack. A lot of times these battles are decided by Blasphemous Act or a Blightsteel Colossus. Things like that. Um, so we'll see what happens. Brea, first mythic. Beautiful Brea. Bloodspore Thrynax. Nothing in the foil slot, but that is an eight. Very nice pack. Pack number three. So I've heard whispers in some of the Reddit forums and whatnot that Wizards has already planned a follow-up to Double Masters um, within the next two or two to three years. I'm, I wonder if it'll be Triple Masters, quadru Quadruple Masters. What, what, what else could they do with it? Double Masters 2.0 maybe? Ooh, Ryan. Oh man, Chrome Mox. Maybe if this is a moniker of how this box is going to go, we may have something special on our hands. Hopefully, hopefully it continues to produce at a high level. Chrome Mox and a Brea already for Ryan. Congratulations. Not a ton of mana value, but uh, overall you're doing well. And I think that's a 8, 11, 12 so far for him. Brad, you are up. Good luck to you. On average, these, these boxes generally have between 6 and 8 Mythics. Um, we opened one with 11 or 12 a week ago. Then the next one had 8. Lightning Greaves, nice and common. Sunken Ruins. And a Thrag Tusk. The one we opened in the uh, the Facebook group live, it didn't have, it only had like 3 or 4 Mythics. It wasn't, it wasn't a beefy boy at all. But... Hopefully we'll get back on track with this box. We're already too deep. So I'll, I want at least seven. Fingers crossed for at least seven. Always want more though. Blood Moon, nice hit with a Guilds of Ravnica Swift Blade Vindicator for some reason is in the set. That's five more for Brad. And pack number three. And with Double Masters, really all it takes is one good pack and it can make the entire box. Here we go, Well of Ideas for six, Blade Splicer for three, <clears throat> nothing in the foil slot, nine more to your total. Dr. Chewy, up to that. That may be, <clears throat> he may be the one guy that opens more magic than I do. Or used to anyways. Adaptive Automaton, Doomed Necromancer. Oh, a Foil Cascade Bluffs, beautiful card. 
So that will be six. Too bad the foil rare didn't add any mana value. And the land cycle in, in Double Masters is decent. I think I, the land cycle in this is better than Ultimate Masters land cycle. I will say that. High Market. Merciless Eviction. So that's six. Lots of land so far. And one more. Of course, Chewie's after the Force of Wills. First and foremost and always. I bet he owns more Force of Wills than anybody on the planet. Unofficially. Cremator. Vengevine. It's a mythic. It's not the blue one we're looking for, though. Eight more. 20 overall. John, you are up. John tends to, tends to do well. I think I've opened two Force of Wills for John already. Within the like probably the last month. It's been very lucky. Lightning Greaves. Mesmeric Orb. Goto. Cool card. And just a couple of foil commons. Eight. Pack number two. Path to Exile. Graven Carnes, another land, and an Avenger of Zendikar. There we go. That's a big boy. So seven saves the pack, even though it had a land in it. This will be our last pack we open for John before we move on to Jason. This will be Jason's first time participating. Obulette, an uncommon slot. Rugged Prairie, another... Boom! There it is. Blight Steel Colossus. I mentioned them a little earlier. I've got a thing where I like manifest cards into being. It happens too often to just be a coincidence. Um, beef is all I've got to say. Everybody's lucky it didn't have another card in there that had a mana value. Um, but that's a Blight Steel. Wow. John has been extremely lucky in openings with me. He's got a 27 overall. Jason, you are up. So how many Mythics is that so far? Is that four? I think that's four already. Might, might be winding up to a uh, to an Epic Box. Ice Crown Scepter. Love Ice Crown Scepter. And a Noble Hierarch. That's a good, that's like a classic, that's like a, like a, like a Conflux slash Mirrodin Silver Era of Magic rare pack right there. It's only three, but I love both those cards. Good start for Jason. Pack number two. Let's see what we get. Fulminator Mage. Oh, this box is good. Sword of Fire and Ice. Heck yes. Mythic number five. We got Chrome Mox. We have a Vengevine, Avenger of Zendikar, Blight Steel, Sword of Fire and Ice. So much beef. I, lo I love Double Mask. It's, it's hands down. Hands down my favorite set to open. Um, or at least modern set to open. Let me put it that way. Like, And when I say modern, I mean within the, within the past few years. There's just so much good stuff in these boxes. Vexing Chisher. Really good card. Council Judgment. Rare. This was like $30 out of the original Conspiracy until this reprint. Nothing in the foil slot. Five more for Jason. It's gonna put him at 14. All right, Dan. Let's bring it home in the caboose. What are we gonna get? This pack just I just manhandled the wrapper off of it. Couldn't wait to get into it. Monolith, nice and common. Ravenous trap for four and a rolling earthquake. Foil citadel. Oh, it's a foil belfel strix. Very nice it. Bonus rare, seven mana pack, loving it. Pack number two. Path to Exile, another mythic, and it's Avison. She's so thick. She's so thick with two Cs. That's what I'm talking about. 
every time I open a double masters or a masters box period, I'm always like, why am I opening this? There's no reason for me to open this, but I'm gonna open it anyways. Oh man, that's an eight. Wow, this box is so good. If we can, if we can come up with a crypt, a doubling season, or a force of will, this will be a ten out of ten box. It's pretty close now. It's it's pretty ridiculous. Metamorphose, time sieve. You're gonna get a time sieve in a double masters box. There's no way to avoid it. Falcon Wrath, Aristocrat, Foil Mine, and Valor. Six more. Let me do some math. That's 21. All right, let me do a recap here. Let me get everybody's names visible. We have Ryan at 12. We have Brad at 19. Dr. Chewy at 20. John at 27 because he got the big the big dark steel or, or light steel. Uh, Jason at 14 and Dan at 21. Let's go to the last pack. There can be some wild swings uh, in who's in the lead with this because, like I said, a... Uh, we could get a pack that has a, a Blasphemous Act and a Dark Steel Forge in it. Completely changes everything. Oh, another Mythic Ensnaring Bridge. This box is good. Conjurer's Closet, Foil Expedition Map. Wow, it's so good. And I'm out of sleeves, so we'll have to be careful. And I'm not gonna pause the video to uh, to go get more sleeves. Not for time being. I'll just be super extra careful until we, uh, until we get there. Puts Ryan at 20. Brad, you are up. So how many mythics is that? That's like six. That's at least six or seven, at least. Throne of Geth. Here we go. Inkwell. Well, that, he's so big. That's a nine with a Maelstrom Pulse. Nothing. Look at that foil. Look at that cat. What is he doing? <laughs> um, seven, eight, nine. That's a twelve for Brad. Let's see where that puts him. That that definitely helps. Thirty-one. Doctor Chewy. We got one last shot at a Force of Will here. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, we will get it. Love to see a Force of Will out of this box. Bobble, nice and common. Wound Reflection. Ah, Master Transmuter. Didn't get there unless there's a foil one. There's not. So, six. That's ten more for Dr. Chewy. Puts him at 30 overall. John. If John gets a Force of Will in this pack, it'll be like his third one in as, in as many Double Masters battles. And he's already got the Colossus, so that doesn't seem fair. But I'm not going to be mad if there's one here. Oh, it's another Mythic, though. Worm Coil Engine. Holy smokes. What is going on? John, you're so lucky, bro. That's a six. Worm Coil is so good, too. Puts you at 33, man. Jason, you're up. I just, I, I adore Double Masters. I want to buy all the Double Masters boxes and, and use them as pillows and sleep with them under my bed. Revoker and an Endless Atlas for four. Buried Ruin and Disintegration. Puts you at 18. And then Dan, here we go. You're going to need some help here. Clone Shell, Mirror Smith, Vish Call. He's that's a big card. That's a big card and a duplicate. Wait, we may have. That's a thirteen so far. That's a thirteen, right? All right, six and seven is thirteen. Um, let's see where that let's see where that puts Dan. That is a thirty-four. That may have gave him the that may have gave him the lead. All right, because we have we have John at thirty-three and now we have Dan at thirty-four. Let me. I'm gonna recount these live, right quick. That way. Um, I want to make sure this is right since it's for the topper. 13, 17, 19, 27, 29, 30, 34. Dan's 34 is correct. And then John, I have John at 33, 6, 18, 25, 27, 33. John got pounded by lands. Look at that. He got three mythics, but he also got three lands. That's pound town, but he also did good. So is it, it's, it's not really that bad. All right. So the final totals, we have Ryan at 20. We have Brad at 31, Chewy at 30, John at 33, Jason at 18 in our low spot, 
and Dan 34 in the high spot. So that ends up being Dan and Jason's first battle and they both get something. So beginner's luck is a thing. So let's open Jason's Strix Collector Pack. How epic would it be if we had a Tudor or a Time Warp? That would just be the icing on the cake. Lean in, light scribe. Pass. Glyph Weaver. This guy's big. Impulse. Doom Blade. Divine Gambit. A foil grow spiral. Okay. We'll take that. Beautiful card, especially in foil. And it's topper time for Dan. Congratulations. First time battle. First time win. Lots of mythics to go around. This was a very good box. The toppers could really put it over the top. Um, we're, we're just going to flip one at a time to see what they are. All right, this one. <laughs> Mana Crypt. This box is a 10 or 12 out of 10. In expiration. That's as good as it gets. Holy cow. What a box. Congratulations, Dan, on your victory. I will recount all this again to make sure everything's correct. But this box was bonkers. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Please subscribe, like, and leave me a comment for the giveaways. I love each and every one of you, and we will see you next time with more beef.